Right, what's so amazing about Shopify Plus, you're asking? Maybe it's the fact that you're gonna save a lot of money in transaction fees. Oh, but this video is not about saving money on transaction fees, because who cares about that? No, it's about saving money on your staff with Shopify Flow. Okay, so here's the situation. You spend half of your time on boring, repetitive tasks right now that are just sucking out your energy and you're not being able to grow your business because of it. So you're smart, you say problem solution, boring, repetitive task, I'm just gonna hire an assistant, right? Wrong you should use Shopify Flow. It's 100% free if you're on Shopify Plus. Now, what does it do? And I read, a Shopify Flow is a system for setting up automated tasks inside your Shopify admin. That doesn't that tell me nothing. So if you ever used Zapier, it's basically Zapier on steroids, but built within Shopify, built by Shopify. Frankly, from all of our Shopify Plus customers, the list of benefits of having Shopify Plus goes lower transaction fees, Shopify flow, a Shopify script. Okay, so let's take a little look on the backend of a Shopify flow. How does it look? Well, first of all, you're going to go to the App Store and you're gonna look for Shopify Flow and you're going to be installing it. Okay, so once the app is installed, you'll end up on your dashboard that looks kind of like this. Let's zoom in. The dashboard has a simple design with only a few buttons. Shopify Flow is created to save your time, so go into the template section and you'll get all the flows that you need for starting to automate your business. So that's pretty cool. Just like we covered in the scripts video, it's actually out of the box, these flows, but you can also build your own. And frankly, just like with Zapier, setting up a flow just takes a couple of minutes and you're ready to save some money. Okay, now let's build a quick flow together. One of our favorite flows that we build with our clients or that they're actually building themselves is automatically cancel risk orders. Concept is pretty simple. If there's a high risk order that comes in, just automatically cancel that order, restock the item and send a cancellation email to the email address of the high risk order. Pretty straightforward, saves you a lot of time if you do a lot of revenue. Okay, so you just click on create a workflow from the template and you are on a new page. And here you can see the details of the workflow, add tags, enable, disable it, and also edit the workflow. Let's edit it to add more conditions. So as mentioned before, this app works with an if then logic. If this happens, then just do this. So the first step for that is the trigger, if this happens. So a trigger is just a specific event. And basically when that event happens, Shopify flow is gonna start. Out of the box, there are nine default triggers. And I'm gonna show you all nine right here. And that way you're like, oh my God, I can do that. So I, I, I need that. And if you're now thinking, oh man, I'm missing some of the triggers. It's not doing this or that as a trigger. Well, you can add additional triggers with third party integration apps if those apps are, you know, supported Shopify flow apps. Okay. Now that we have the trigger, we have to set up the condition. Condition statements are basically rules that must be passed as either true or false in order to dictate what is going to happen. There are over a hundred different conditions to pick from, each with a number of variations available. Multiple condition statements can be grouped together, meaning all statements have to be true to pass the entire statement. Let's do the first condition is if the risk order level is equal to high, then take certain action. Here on the right, you can set up the additional conditions and the process is rather simple, like when you are making automatic collections. Okay, now that we set up all the conditions and the triggers, we need to create actions. Basically, what's gonna happen when all of that is met? And Shopify actually works with a bunch of tools outside of Shopify in order to make it simple. For example, you can send a message to Slack, but you can also work with all of these out of the box, being like, hey, update my Google Sheet, please, and all the other things. That's pretty useful. So in this specific example, when the analysis returns a high risk level, just cancel the order, send an email, add a customer tag, and add an order tag. And actually now that we're at it, also add a Slack message in our group right here. And actually, um, let's add another condition. So if the order is medium risk, I just wanna be notified on Slack so I can look into it. So click on add condition on the right, choose order risk level is equal to medium. And then here we're gonna go to choose which actions you want to perform, and in our case, just send us a Slack message and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna save the workflow, turn it on and boom, it's like magic. Do you believe in magic? Ooh, that was not okay. 
I shouldn't do that again. I'm very sorry. Okay, so now you're getting a good idea of what you can really do with Shopify Flow and why some people say, oh my God, it's the best thing about Shopify Plus beside then the fact that, you know, you pay lower transaction fees. Again, that's the biggest thing about Shopify Plus. But if you keep in mind that, you know, an average assistant is going to cost you about $2,000 a month all in in the United States and Shopify Plus starts at $2,000 a month, you know, maybe there is some mad going on there. Okay, you might be thinking, Andrew, can you give me a bit more of a global picture what we can do except doing the high risk and medium risk order. Sure, you can also play with things like inventory, loyalty and promotions, customers, orders and products. Okay, for inventory, you can just tag products that are low or out of stock. You can also temporarily remove products that are low or out of stock automatically with Flow. And you can also make sure that, you know, if a product gets below a certain inventory level to automatically send an email to maybe that supplier being like, hey, we need to add her some more to this. We need to add her some more. That's not even English, Andrew. Get it together, boy. Loyalty and promotions. Okay, with this flow, you're basically tracking the use of discount codes. You can get an email notification when you get a huge order. That way you can kind of look into it or maybe give VIP treatment. And it can also integrate with other loyalty apps, which is very useful. Some examples of integrations can be these guys. We reviewed some of these. You should go check it out. Okay, when it comes to customers, you can add tags to customers from really anything based on like postal code or IP address or really order size, pretty much anything. You can organize customers by their lifetime spend, but you can also track customers who do a lot of refunds. That's one that we see often be like, oh, really? You ordered again, but you keep refunding. So I'm not going to sure that I'm going to help you out on this one, or I'm going to call you first because I don't want another refund. That cost me money. When it comes to orders, you can just send an email to your staff automatically when there's an order or a specific type of order, or maybe a very large order, or you can track all the orders that are made with a gift cards and send emails with reports of that. That's pretty cool as well. And then for the last category about products, every time you add a new product, it can automatically add it to a specific collection depending on the tag. Um, that's pretty cool. It's going to save you some time of back and forward. Nice Shopify flow. So I hope with this little video series that we do about Shopify Plus, we're demystifying some of the elements about Shopify Plus, such as Shopify Plus transaction, the cost, the scripts, and today was Shopify flow. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a like or subscribe. That would mean the world to me and see you in another video. Bye.